Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, and my channel helps people on their twin flame journey with ascension, their spiritual awakening, and so many of the things that you have to deal with. In this video, I want to talk to you about some of the most common twin flame challenges that people begin to experience. Now, these are some of the ones in the beginning, and all through your journey, you can have various challenges. But this is intended to help you identify what some of these are and to really understand how unique this journey is. I hope this changes your perspective because while it can be challenging, it can also be very rewarding. The first thing that really becomes a challenge is family. Now, there is something that I've noticed in the 15 years that I've been doing this. Many people are the very first ones in their family to actually experience an activation, not just a spiritual awakening, not your old school spiritual awakening, like going to church or, you know, having some aha moment. This is an actual physical body activation. It's very tangible. It can be felt. It's inside your body, it's around you, and you start seeing your world turning upside down. Now, family becomes a challenge because no matter where your relationship is with your family, if it's toxic, it's going to start changing and it sometimes gets worse. If it's kind relationship, you're going to notice differences with those people too, that somehow they can't be on the same page as you. And why is this? This is because most people, when they are the ones to activate, they are the first ones in their circle of acquaintance, also their circle of influence in their family. They become the person of influence, but it feels like it's the opposite. Many things with your twin flame journey can feel like opposite day, that somehow you're going through something that nobody else is going through. Now, I've worked with people from different cultures, and there's a common denominator. Many people feel that they would be considered to be crazy. And in some cultures, that means other things such as getting an evaluation by a doctor, going for mental health care, which is not a bad thing, except for fear of being locked up or mistreated or abused. Why? Because this has happened in the past with people. So many people are reluctant to share things with their family. So you can feel weird. You can feel isolated but you're being freed. So that's number one with family. And it doesn't matter who your family is or how many people. The next thing is children. Children matter. There is one number one thing to understand with children. Your karmic agreement by birthing them is to do your ascension so that they can also. They have to do their ascension once you begin unraveling all of that bad ancestral DNA, all of the bad patterns, all of the bad family patterns. Start fixing the stuff. And that's a challenge. So yes, children can be a challenge for sure. I have ways for you to do this through your grid work, through prepping your new life, by prepping and integrating your new light body. The next one exes or potential exes, ex-husbands, ex-wives, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. Some people like to collect people and some people just don't know exactly how to break up and they ghost people or you get ghosted. Now that's the thing about karma is sometimes what comes around goes around, right? We say that. However, when it comes to exes or soon to be exes, people on the journey don't always know what to do. Why? There's other considerations. Like I say, there's families, there's children, there are financial considerations, there are housing considerations. There's all these things that come into account. So should you stay? Should you go? Should you keep the husband? Are you keeping your husband? Should they keep the wife? Are you keeping your wife? Do you stay? Do you break up? Do you try to fend out for yourself? Do you try to like use your newfound strength and your activation to see how to do this? I'll tell you something. Most people won't because fear hinders them. Now, this is not unfounded fears. These are real fears because the real in the real world, you need a place to live. You need money to live. You need companionship. You need people. So should you stay with the husband? You Do you continue to endure and do you keep these toxic cycles of relationships and patterns going on in perpetuity? How do you set the boundaries and say the buck stops here? I'm activated. I need to see my way to the exit and I know, need to know how to do this. Well, I have the how to do it when you feel you're ready to do that. And it's not by going and telling people off. Often it's not always by getting a divorce right away. You have to have an exit plan. Believe me when I tell you your soul 
wants you to have a proper exit plan that is the best possible for everyone concerned, mostly for you, because when you're good, everything else can ripple and be good. Another challenge on the journey is other people. Now that might seem very academic, like Shaw, well, of course it's other people, right? But here's what other people do not know. Other people will not know what this is, They won't know what it's like. They don't know how it feels. They don't understand the thing you're going through. But here's what they really don't understand. They're seeing the surface. They're seeing that maybe you're upset. They see you're going through something. They see that um, you have something's happened to you. You're changing on them. And sometimes that's the key. You are changing on them, not the other way around. You're actually leaving them. You are ascending up and away from them. That's what's happening. They feel it though, because people aren't idiots. Children aren't idiots. They have senses that tell them something. Something's happening, but they cannot experience what you're experiencing no matter how they can not experience how deep it is, they can't experience what you're experiencing at night, during the day, the messages, the music messages, the etheric touch, all of the signs and signals that are just simply not the mind and not psychology. And you can't tell by looking at us how deep it really is. So these are just some of the major challenges on your twin flame journey. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe, post some questions, write into me. I will try to address it and check out my website and have a great day. Bye.